I do because you didn't get your Democratic ass up and vote. See, we could complain about, man, these dudes racist. These dudes bigots. They don't like us. You can tell they don't BS. We can do that all day long. We can do that twice on Sunday. We can do it every chance you like. We can point out all the flaws in the Republican Party. We can, we, they don't like us. They don't do this. They don't do that. We can do that till the cows come home. But you know what you can't do? Say that them people don't go out and support their people at the polls. That's what you can't do. You cannot do that. Because anytime you got 48% of the population as registered uh, Democrats and a Republican dude gets a job in that state, it's something wrong. 43% of the population is Republican and uh, the other people are undecided. So, just on sheer numbers, he should have never got that job. But it don't. It ain't important to me. So if it ain't important to you, I bet you Breonna Taylor family thinking, damn, I should have got my ass out there. She wouldn't be alive, more than likely. But the people who would have held those people accountable would have been potentially people who are allegedly on your side. And then that's when you can that's when you can throw that out there. The vote don't work, get some BS. Because if you put somebody in office and they don't do your bidding, then now you got the right to complain. You got the right to shout from the Raptors. But when you had the opportunity to get one of to not have one of Mitch McConnell's cronies in play and you didn't. It's your fault. Breonna Taylor's murderers are in jail are not in jail because of the voters in the state of Kentucky if you listening in Kentucky and don't like what I'm saying all you have to do is show me where I'm wrong show me how they cheated but they didn't cheat because just like last time I don't like Hillary Clinton she did this she did that and you like and you didn't like Donald Trump and I'm just gonna sit out and guess what happened you got a fascist in office who talking about staying there as long as the hell he wants to. Then you got these uh, 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 clowns like Mitch. How the hell is Mitch McConnell going to play in the state, uh, state of uh, Kentucky? Well, well, um, Joe Biden, he didn't do this and he didn't do that. Who would you rather fight? A dude with a gun in his hand behind his back or a dude with a gun in his head cocked at your head. You would want to fight the dude with the gun that he has to draw it versus the dude with the gun pressed up against your temple. Because any false move and you are going to die. And I know there's some jackass out there talking about he MacGyver and he'll knock the gun out of his head and he'll pull out some gum and then kill the dude. Right? I know. I know. Everybody but him. Would want to fight the dude with the gun behind his back. Because it's always one. It is always one. And if you're wondering, there were, two years ago, there were 104 unarmed black people shot in the United States of America. Actually, it was 2015. 2015, 104 unarmed black people shot. 13 were bought to trial. By cops. 13 were brought to trial. Four of them still waiting uh, to, to go to court. And three of them got jail time. And none of them did more than three years. Some of them even go to jail on the weekend. You hear me? Did you hear what I said? Some of these people who kill unarmed black people who are in these. These damn uh, uh, race warrior suits are going to jail on the weekend like it's community service for murder. And see, this was bring me, brings me to another point. You keep saying what politicians don't do. Politicians are like computers and robots. If you don't tell them what to do, they do what the hell they want to. They, they go with par for the course. You can't ask your, your laptop or your desktop to start up at 8 o'clock every morning 
and then you're on vacation and get mad. Why is this damn computer coming on at 8 o'clock every morning? Because that's what you told me to do. Or just doing what it's normally doing. Politicians are swindlers by nature. Let's just get let's just be let's just keep it funny. These are not honest people to begin with. Who the hell wants a job like that? They can't get something out of it. Seriously. If you can't get nothing out of it, why would you take that job? Donald Trump is allegedly a billionaire. Why the hell would you want to be the president of the United States of America? Because there's some nonsense in it. But, like with any BSer, you need to be, they need to do something so you can stay appeased, so you can continue to participate in their, mo their, their, their foolishness. But, our community seems to be comfortable yelling and screaming at each other instead of yelling and screaming at the people who allegedly work for you. See, in order for a con man to be successful, he has to give you something. Which goes back to the original point at the top of the show. Can we get 10 things that our community... Let's do it. If y'all like, man, call right now. 773-797-2409. Come up with 10 things that you need Kamala has. 10 things that you need Joe Biden. 10 things you need from your governor or mayor. Let's do that. Ten things that just gonna help us be a better community. Because then, every time somebody go to run up there and say, "Hey, vote for me," you can literally say, "Will you do this, 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 and this?" You know, you're really only looking for eight of those things to be accomplished, maybe even seven. But if they can get you seven, hell, you'll be happy with six. Because right now we ain't getting any. We're not getting any. So what is it that you want? Because if you don't start saying what you want, if this, this fascist goes back in office, you're going to get be wanting some stuff that you need. And for those people like my man Frost, like Cummings, like Jones, I ain't going to say y'all names. I don't want nobody bother you on uh, Facebook. Y'all talking about what Obama didn't do. And you short pointing out that this president is saying what he's going to do in the future. I'm going to hit the lotto then. You feel like lending me your next paycheck? Because I'm going to hit the lotto. Why ain't he doing it now? What, what's take, why is it taking him four years to do anything? Uh, he did for the HBCUs. No, actually, that... Sorry. Sorry, he didn't. That was a bill that Barack Obama signed for 10 years to give the HBCUs funding, and it expired this year, and all he did was re-sign and extend the bill. But because you, smart guy, don't pay attention to what's going on up until six months before the election, you don't know that. What has Kamala has done for our people? Well, huh, Cory Booker signed, uh, uh, can't think of it, something 40. I can't think of it. It's a reparations bill. Mitch McConnell, his cronies, shot it right down. Another bill Sister Harris got on the floor is, and she did this before she was running. She knew she was going to be the vice presidential candidate. The George Floyd bill, which is hung up. And George Floyd bill, for those who don't understand what that, what, what, how, how that would help, uh, too little, too late, or finally. But guess what? George Floyd didn't die to May, so uh, almost June. The day before June, he died to the end. But the George, Bo George Floyd bill, and this was done before, after she dropped out the presidential race, and before she ever, it was 60 days before she even knew she was going to be the candidate, because let's not forget, she was slapping Joe Biden around in the, in the, in the, uh, in the debates. But they didn't show that on Fox. They didn't show that on NBC or CS, CS, uh, 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 MSNBC or CNN. They didn't show that on that, so you didn't know about that. Or nobody said it, so you didn't pay attention to it. 
and they definitely didn't put it on Facebook. Part of the uh, George Floyd bill is to remove the immunity from prosecution from the police. So when black people are being shot at an alarming rate, unarmed black people are being shot and busted to their cribs, Sister Harris said that can't happen no more and you just go to jail. And you don't even, you didn't even have a threat of going to jail. And folks, be educated on these policies. Defunding the police department is not tearing up the police department, getting rid of the police. As I stated before, $5 billion goes into NYPD. $5 billion. There's some countries that operate their entire country on less. Why is it? How about this? Let's just here's a question. Is one of the reasons people commit crime is because they don't feel they have opportunities? And if they don't feel that they have opportunities, if you don't have opportunities, then cool. And when you feel like a, your sense of hopelessness, you turn to desperate situation. You turn to desperate, desperate actions. And if you turn to desperate actions, and which is potentially crime. Then, desperate times, desperate measures, desperate actions. Now, if I put money into a music program, if I put money in a technology program, seeing how we are scared to death of this epidemic or this pandemic that's happening right now, guess who? Guess who are going to need a whole lot of people? The healthcare industry, the billing and coding industry. So the healthcare industry is you're gonna probably need about six, seven hundred thousand more people. And that's 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 an understatement. Because let's not forget when this pandemic first struck, New York were asking people for they were paying people's way to New York, healthcare aides way to New York in order to try to get this under control. Technology, the building, you're gonna need technology because Hey, and into the for, in the foreseeable future, you're gonna need stronger internet. You're gonna need other apps that you can do virtual stuff in. Everything people are gonna be afraid to touch each other for a long time. So, the technology world is the first person that comes up with something that can remedy this is gonna be richer than God, and you're gonna need. A, uh, uh, for, for cyber criminals. So technology is going to be booming. So how about taking some of that money back from the police, not overfunding them, buying militaristic weapons to control your citizens and start putting it into counseling? Because there, there's, there's a lot of counselors needed because a lot of people lost their uh, uh, love, lost loved ones. Things that people need. It's going to be jobs out there that are needed. Things that people need. So Let's just do four billion and put a billion dollars into helping people. Because I'm sure four billion dollars ain't gonna kill the cops. How about this? The cops who really those good cops that everybody be telling me about? All those good cops. Can somebody please tell me that means uh, what are they doing to help? Because then they can be counselors, right? Because most of them are college educated, allegedly. Or have some semblance of college education. You need 60 credits. That's a, that's an associate's degree. So, take your associate's degree and go get some counseling. So you can counsel your fellow officers. If Since this job is so stressful, how about this? Do 90-day rotations. You ride around in your car for 90 days. And then you sit at the desk for 90 days. And, de and, and decompress. But see, because y'all not coming up with ways to help these people, they out there on edge. I'm, I'm gonna take their. I'm gonna take their. Uh, uh, I'm gonna side with office. They out there stressed out. That's why they going crazy killing people. How about this? If you want to spend five billion dollars on uh, to be a cop, how about you need two years of training to be a cop? You need a psychological evaluation to be a cop. How about this? No more people from the damn military being cops. Because they over there mistreating the people in the Middle East. They over there mistreating the people in all these brown countries. And they treating them like trash. And then they come over here and treat 